story time about how I ghosted my girlfriend for her sister. Disclaimer is not my story time, send me on Instagram. I, a 24 year old male, am an asshole. But to be honest, I don't think I can help it. I met my girlfriend in college at a party and we hit it off right away. I asked her to be my girlfriend the very same week I met her. So things moved along really quick. We were dating for three months before I met her parents. And I went over to her house and we did the whole thing. But when I met her sister, I fell in love. Her sister was like the male version of me. She likes dirt biking. I like dirt biking. She loves going on solo trips. I do too. We both love skydiving, playing baseball, watching baseball. And my girlfriend, well, she just doesn't have those interests. She's more into getting manicures and pedicures, coloring her hair, making sure she looks skinny in all her pictures. And she always makes me take about 100 pictures before she chooses one to post. So I realized her sister and I were much more compatible. The same day we met, her and I just talked for about three hours while the rest of the family was watching TV. That very same day, she invited me to go on a hike with her and her friends. My girlfriend was actually really happy that her sister and I got along. So I said yes. Only to end up making out with her. Part two is... Story time about how I ghosted my girlfriend for her sister. Disclaimer, it's not my story time. It's not me on Instagram. When she invited me to go hiking, I instantly had to say yes. But in my defense, I tried to convince my girlfriend to come with us. She said no because she didn't want to get sweaty and she didn't want to ruin her hair. So her sister and I made our way to the hiking place with her two friends. During the hike, we had so much fun. Her and I basically walked together for two hours and just talked. The longer we walked, the more I fell in love with her. And I could tell that the same was happening to her. We decided to walk ahead of her friends just to get some more privacy. And that's when we started making out. Then she instantly started to cry. She felt really bad for her sister. And I felt bad for her sister. But there was just nothing we could do about it. At least not then. When we got back to her parents' house, we decided not to talk about it or even talk to each other. My girlfriend and I went back to college and I didn't see her sister for another two weeks. She finally came over to visit and we decided to go to a house party. And this is when things get even more complicated. At the house party, my girlfriend decided to get really drunk. And she was being a brat. So her sister and I had to take care of her the whole night. When we finally took her back home after she was sick, her sister and I started making out again. Part 3 is up. Story time about how I ghosted my girlfriend for her sister. Disclaimer is not my story time instead of me on Instagram. While my girlfriend was blackout drunk on her bed, her sister and I were making out in the kitchen. I know, I'm an evil man, but I just couldn't help it. That's when I realized that I had fallen in love with my girlfriend's sister over the last two weeks. I couldn't believe it myself. That's when I decided to tell her in the kitchen that I couldn't see her sister the same way anymore and that I kind of wanted to be with her. She told me there was no way that could ever happen and that she would never do that to her sister. Yet she was still making out with her sister's boyfriend. I asked her to tell me how she felt about me and she basically told me she felt the same way. So over the next few days, I made a decision. I decided to ghost my girlfriend. I didn't have the balls to tell her that I had fallen in love with her sister. I mean, can you blame me? Of course, my girlfriend went nuts trying to contact me. So I ended up blocking her number. She came over to my apartment, but I didn't answer the door. That's when I called her sister up and told her that I was single. But now she's rejecting me and doesn't want to be in a relationship with me. I feel like an asshole because I ghosted my girlfriend and I fell in love with her sister. Now I'm the one ending up alone. Should I get back with my girlfriend or should I try to get with the sister? Should I... Story time about how my boyfriend's best friend kissed me. Should I tell him? His best friend is a girl. Disclaimer is not my story time. It's not on Instagram. My boyfriend and I have only been dating for two weeks. Two weeks. We actually met a couple of months ago on a dating app. We went on several dates over the course of four months. And after that, he asked me to be his girlfriend. I said yes. While we were dating, I met a couple of his friends. One of them being his girl best friend. And she is by which I did know of. Okay, but here's the messed up thing. The day I met this girl, she was staring at me. Not just like staring at me a little bit. Hardcore staring. She even told my boyfriend that I was so attractive that he needed to take care of me because she could snatch me up. And she said this in front of me. My boyfriend thought it was hilarious and just laughed at her. And to be honest with you, even though yes, she's a girl, she made me feel extremely uncomfortable. She would always compliment my body in front of everybody. She would comment on how my boobs are so big. We all went to the beach one time and she said, I quote, if your bikini top pops off, I don't mind girl. I did not laugh. She even went up behind me and tried to untie my bikini. My boyfriend thought it was so funny. Part two is Story time about how my boyfriend's best friend kissed me, should I tell him? And she's a girl. Disclaimer is not my story time, it's not on my Instagram. When she tried to untie my bikini top, I got really upset. I yelled at her, but my boyfriend thought it was funny. When my boyfriend and I got back to his apartment, I told him that his best friend made me really uncomfortable. And he said, you're being so stupid, she's just a girl. I said that didn't matter because she always made comments about my physical appearance and how she was going to steal me from him. He promised he would talk to her and tell her to lay off. But this did the exact opposite. The next day, I get a DM from her saying, so I heard I make you feel uncomfortable? I didn't respond to that and I showed it to my boyfriend. My boyfriend just said, don't worry about it, just ignore her. Then she sent another message saying, I'm sorry if I intimidate you. I was so upset that I replied saying, you definitely don't intimidate me. You constantly objectify me and that's completely unacceptable. Then she sent me a poop emoji and that was it. The next time I saw her, I purposely did not even look her way. This was at a party and there were tons of people, but she managed to follow me around the whole night and ask me why I wasn't talking to her. Finally, she grabbed me and kissed me. Part three is a 
story time about how my boyfriend's best friend kissed me. Should I tell him? And she's a girl. Disclaimers are my story time is that I mean on Instagram. During the party, she just kept following me around. She would ask me over and over why I wasn't talking to her. But of course, I just kept ignoring her. I finally went over to the kitchen to grab a drink. And that's when she grabbed me, turns me around, and just puts her face on mine. She stuck her tongue all the way down my throat. It was disgusting. And she had a really strong hold on me, so I couldn't push her off right away. To tell you that we struggled is an understatement. And I finally got her off of my face after like 30 seconds. I pushed her so hard, she fell back. Backwards. And I ran straight to my boyfriend and told him what happened. Thankfully, he was really upset with her and went straight to talk to her. Honestly, part of me thought that he was just going to take her side. We both went to the kitchen and he asked her what her problem was. That's when she told my boyfriend that she was convinced that I liked her. And that for some reason, I was just denying it because I wanted to play hard. By the way, she did have a few drinks, so I guess it could be that. I told her that she was actually hallucinating and that I did not have feelings for her. I also told her not to ever touch me again. My boyfriend told her not to come around anymore, but it doesn't stop there. He actually tried to kiss me again later. Later on part four is up story time about how my boyfriend's best friend kissed me should i tell him and she's a girl disclaimers are not my story time it's not even on instagram she promised she wouldn't try to kiss me again but she lied just a few days later my boyfriend had forgiven her she made up a whole story to him that she was depressed about another girl and that somehow i reminded her of the other girl then my boyfriend said do you mind if she comes over and i told him as long as she didn't try to touch me everything would be fine this time i was gonna defend myself do you see where this is going a few of my boyfriend's friends showed up and then she showed up last and as soon as she saw me she came over and tried to hug me i told her hugging was not necessary for an apology that her words were fine she then apologizes not two hours later while everyone is in the backyard i go to the kitchen and she follows me again this time she kissed me but it was much quicker and i didn't have to push her off then she said what are you gonna run and tell your boyfriend again she said i smacked her really really hard so hard you could see my palm print on her face then she apologized and begged me not to tell my boyfriend he's afraid of losing his friendship and i actually did feel bad for her for a second but i'm not sure anymore should i tell my boyfriend or should i keep this to myself bye Am I the asshole for wearing my wedding dress somewhere else? I, 26 female, got married this past January. We had my dream wedding and everyone enjoyed it. Many said it was one of the best weddings they've been to. About a week ago, Leanna, 24 female, got married. I wouldn't say I'm close to her, but we have known each other for quite a few years because our families run in the same circles. I invited her to my wedding and she invited me and my husband to hers. Anyways, me and Leanna have mutual friends as well and I heard that she was getting her dress custom made from a specialized boutique and that her dress wouldn't be traditional white. I was having trouble deciding what to wear, but I eventually decided to wear my wedding dress. So the day of the wedding arrives and I'm wearing my wedding dress. I did wear different shoes and accessories though. There were some people that overlapped between the two weddings, but a lot that didn't. Am I the asshole for wearing my wedding dress somewhere else? When they commented on my dress, I mentioned that it was my wedding dress. I went to talk to the bride. She thanked me for coming and said my dress looked very similar to the one I'd worn at my wedding, to which I replied it was the same and I thought it'd be a fun throwback. She didn't reply to it and walked off to talk to other guests. Everything went well the rest of the time. Later, a few people told me that it was very rude of me to wear my wedding dress to Leanna's wedding and a lot of people at the wedding were saying it was inappropriate of me to try and take the spotlight away from Leanna. I didn't think it was a big deal because one, if people were talking about me, that's their issue. I never asked them to. And two, as I mentioned earlier, Leanna's dress wasn't even white and I also wore different accessories so it wasn't even the same full outfit. My husband said that people were overreacting. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for no longer allowing my girlfriend's best friend in my apartment? For the longest time, they have kind of used my apartment as like their little clubhouse. They've used it because it's the closest to the bars and restaurants that they like to go to. Then they come sleep at my place and it's the biggest out of myself, my girl, or her friend's places. I never really cared. They come in, they scroll through phones, watch YouTube. It's not a big inconvenience. That being said, me and her friend have never really meshed. I think that she oftentimes sticks her nose in things she doesn't need to. How this works is, I'll tell my girl something, she'll then tell her friend, and then her friend will bring it up in some snarky way to me. Last Friday was the final straw. I've not been seeing eye to eye with my dad, and in the past, I've had issues with my mom too. Am I the asshole for no longer allowing my girlfriend's best friend in my apartment? He wants to literally monitor my finances for no other reason than to be a control freak. That's just how he is. I'm exhausted by him and relayed that to my girl. She then told her friend who, while over at my place, hanging out with my girl, turned to me and said, I've heard you and your dad are fighting. Jeez, you just can't get along with anyone, can you? I didn't want to stand there in my apartment and start a screaming match, so I said nothing. 
The friend eventually left and I told my girlfriend that her friend was banned from my apartment. My girlfriend argued that I was being unfair, asked what this friend was supposed to do when she needs a place to crash after they've been out drinking. I told her I don't give a shit and that she can sleep on the ground. My girl now thinks I'm an asshole for such a quick, harsh banishment.